Now, while thousands said their farewells to the tall ships, a handful gathered at Belfast City Hall to remember the heroes of a forgotten campaign from the Second World War. They're the small band of brothers known as the Burma Star Association. The advancing years have taken their toll at an alarming rate. London Tire's closed down. Of course, there's nobody there. The, 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 the colours, uh, Dublin has closed down. And quite a few about England. I filmed them in 2002 as they marched around the city hall. There were over 50 then. Today, the numbers are down to single figures, but still come. Thinking back, 65 years, and remembering a lot of things that happened then, and remembering a lot of very good friends. When we were taken prisoners, we were survivors with no clothing or anything else, and we got nothing from the Japs or the Dutch either. For the first time, the wreath was laid not by a veteran, but by the grandsons of Jack O'Neill. It's the first time any young person has been involved. It is like as if the mantle has been passed on, you know. It's very symbolic, you know, I think, and it's very touching. The clock is ticking for these veterans. Age and infirmity have taken their toll, but nobody wants to call time just yet. It was called the tennis court, the battle of the tennis court, where the Japanese were on one side and the British the other, and they just fired uh, hand grenades at each other. Massacre there. We adopted the Kohima epitaph from it, which was uh, when you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrows, we gave our today's. In an increasingly transient world, it's easy to regard commemoration as a token. But we do well to remember that for our tomorrow, they did give their today. The men of the Burma Star Association.